Hi, I'm Bill Peters. I'm here with Sarah Atchison at the FDIC with Midwest Fire. And uh, Sarah, tell us a little bit about your company. Well, I recently acquired the company in August of 2013, and so I'm new to the fire industry. Um, Midwest Fire has been in business since 1987 and has manufactured over 600 fire apparatus. We're located in Laverne, Minnesota, and we manufacture pumpers, um, pumper tankers, and um, we're here to serve the needs of fire departments. Excellent. Sounds good. Well, we'll have to get a look at some of your products then. Sounds great. Good. We're here with uh, Craig Skolton from Midwest Fire, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the, uh, the body of, of uh, their product that they use. Craig, what's, uh, what's with the body? Well, at Midwest Fire here, we have an uh, all-poly body. Um, it's all constructed of three-quarter inch uh, high-density polyethylene um, and different coal polymers. Um, designed to be, you know, it's rugged, it's tough. Um, we have the end user in mind. It also comes with a lifetime warranty. That's excellent. And um, is the tank integral with the, uh, with the body construction? Yes, the tank and the body are all one complete unit. Um, there's aluminum subframe that the all poly body and tank are mounted to. Excellent. And uh, this, um, this truck, uh, what size is the tank? This tank here is 3,000 gallons. Uh, we right. make a variety of different sizes uh, from 1,500 all the way up to 4,000 gallons. That's excellent. Craig, what can you tell us about the pump that's on this apparatus? This truck here features a Darley LSP 1000 single stage uh, pump which can be used for um, attack or transferring water. Excellent. So the, uh, the valve and piping is, uh, is uh, significant enough that you can actually transfer water from your tank Correct. using uh, yep. discharge lines. Yes. Yep. And it also does have a PTO pump so they can have the capabilities to pump and roll with this apparatus. Very good. Okay, I'm in the cab of the truck with Brett Jensen, who's uh, an engineer for uh, Midwest Fire. Brett, what can you tell us about this uh, multiplex system? It looks pretty uh, interesting. Well, the multiplex system is uh, basically an onboard computer that uh, controls almost any function that's on the truck, um, anything you want to put on the truck, whether everything from lighting, open door switches, to controlling the pump itself. Um, along with this feature, it has uh, onboard diagnostics to where if you have any issues with anything, a couple pushes of the button and it'll simply explain to you or tell you where the problem is. Um, so it's a, it's a great feature and uh, it's something that we've incorporated into our trucks from uh, the old school wiring. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's something that's, uh, you know, it's in the future, everybody uses it. Mm -hmm. but it's excellent. It uh, gives the operator a lot of control from right here. Correct, correct. Brett, we're back here at the uh, business end of this tanker tender. What can you tell us about the uh, capabilities to offload and to uh, refill the tank? Okay, well here we have the uh, Newton dump valve. Um, which is uh, probably one of the top of the line in the industry. It's capable of 1,800 gallons a minute. Um, it'll actually drop this 3,000 gallons in about 90 seconds. So uh, there's multiple things about it. You got telescoping chutes, um, flip chutes, uh, different variety of, uh, of things as this as well. Um, here we have the direct tank fill. That can be anything from a two and a half inch valve all the way up to a six inch butterfly valve. So just depending on what the department is uh, comfortable with and what they use. Excellent, and um, we have the same Newton dumps on each side of the rear? That would be correct, both sides, left and right. Excellent. I'm back with Sarah again. Sarah, can you tell us what the uh, future of Midwest Fire is, what, what you have on the drawing board? Well, at FDIC here, we're displaying um, our first multiplexing truck, and it's a priority for us uh, to invest in training for our employees because we want to provide the best fire apparatus for our firefighters and do what we can to keep them safe. Excellent. And where can our viewers get further information about Midwest Fire? Well, they can contact us at MidwestFire.com or uh, follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yes. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you.